Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up webhook inside Zendesk. So webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to different applications as an event happens. So here let's say that I'm using Zendesk to manage all the queries or support requests of my organization. And here I want that whenever a new ticket is created, then as a backup, I want to keep the record of those ticket details in a Google Sheet. So now to set up a webhook inside Zendesk, in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can do that step by step. So over here in this trigger window, I'm going to search for Zendesk as my trigger application. Here it is. So now moving to the trigger event, that will be new ticket. So this trigger will start working whenever a new ticket will be created in my Zendesk account. So as I've selected my trigger application and the trigger event, here you can see that a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge to connect your Zendesk account with Pabli Connect. So this here is my Zendesk account and over here I will go to views and under views I will go to manage views. So here in manage views, as per the instructions, I will scroll down on my left hand side corner and I will go to apps and integrations. So here in apps and integrations, I'm going to find webhooks. So here in webhooks, it says webhooks let you listen for events in near real time and easily pass data to use in services and integrations. So here I'm going to create a new webhook and in order to do that, I will go to this create webhook button and over here I'm going to select it as trigger or automation. So this will connect the webhook using a business rule which I'm going to tell you ahead in this video. So now I'm going to click on next and here I'm going to give the name as Pabli Connect Webhook. So here I have given the name as Pabli Connect Webhook. So now moving to the endpoint URL. So here I need to mention the endpoint URL where I want to send the data. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL and over here in this field, I'm going to paste it. So now moving to the request method and the request format. So as per the instruction, you can see that over here is the request method type given that is of post. And over here is the request format given that is of JSON. So here in these fields, I'm going to select the method as post and the request format as JSON. So over here, once I've selected it, I have not mentioned any description. I'm leaving this field blank. If you want to add a description for your webhook, you can do it. So moving to the authentication, so that is of none. So as I've mentioned these details, so now as per the instructions given over here, I'm going to test this webhook before creating it. So here I'm going to click on test webhook. And now I'm going to click on send test. So over here, as I've clicked on send test, so a test response would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. So as over here in Pabli Connect, we have successfully received the test response. So over here in Zendesk, I'm going to click on create webhook. So once I've done that, it says webhook is successfully created, but I need to connect it with business rules. So in order to finish the setup, I will go to Pabli Connect and I will show you in the instruction that it is given that I have to click on the left sidebar and go to object and rules. So here in Zendesk, I will go to object and rules and over here I'm going to scroll down and I will come to business rules and click on triggers. So once that is done over here, I'm going to add a trigger. So now I need to give my trigger a name. So here I'm going to name it as Pabli Connect Trigger. So once I've named it, I'm leaving the description field blank. It is an optional one. So now moving to the category. So over here, I'm going to select the category as notifications. I will come to conditions. So as per the instructions given over here, it says that I need to select notification from the category dropdown. Once that is done, then I need to click on add condition. And over here, I need to select that condition as ticket is created. So over here in Zendesk, I'm going to add a condition from this drop down. I'm going to select it as ticket. And now over here, I'm going to select as ticket and I'm going to select it as created. So over here, it is ticket is created. So over here, I've mentioned the condition that is ticket is created. So now moving to the actions. So over here, I'm going to select the action as notify by active webhook. 
So over here, this is the webhook which we have created and I'm going to select it. So now here in this JSON body field from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy this JSON body. So I'm just going to copy it and over here I'm going to paste it. So here I've mentioned the JSON body. So it includes of ticket ID, title, description, URL, status, priority and here is the assignee name, email, group name and the organization name. So if you want to add more keys, so you can add it from view available placeholders. So here you can see that as I'm going to click on view available placeholders over here, there are some other keys as well. But as of now, I'm going to use this as my JSON body. So once I've mentioned all of these details, I'm going to click on create. And here you can see that it says trigger Pabli connect trigger was created. So over here, we have successfully created the trigger as well. So our trigger is created that whenever a new ticket will be created in my Zendesk account, then automatically those details should be sent to Pabli Connect. So now over here in Pabli Connect, as we have successfully connected our Zendesk account with Pabli Connect, so over here, I'm going to recapture the webhook response. So by recapturing the webhook response, I need to do a test submission or record in Zendesk so that the response could be captured over here in Pabli Connect. So here in Zendesk, I am going to create a new ticket. So here, let's say the requester is I'm going to add a requester by the name of test user. So this here is the email that goes as test user at the rate pablitudes.com. And over here, I'm going to click on add. And let's say that I'm going to assign it to the support team. So I'm going to assign to support and over here, let's say the tag will be given as technical. So this here is the tag. Now moving to the type. So this type is of a question. The priority is normal. So over here, I've mentioned these details. I'm going to give the subject that will be app integration. And I'm going to add a description that will be how we can connect our application with Pabli Connect. So over here, I have mentioned the details and I'm going to create this ticket. So now I'm going to click on submit as new. So it says ticket hashtag 15 has been created. So that means a new ticket is successfully created in Zendesk and the details of this ticket would have been sent to Pabli Connect. So taking you to Pabli Connect and yes, over here, you can see that just now I've received the response. So over here, you can see these details. So here's the ticket URL and this here's the ticket title. Here you can see the ticket status, priority and over here is the ticket ID. This here is the group name and over here you can see the ticket description. So here in the description, it says how we can connect our application with Pabli Connect. Here is the ticket assignee name and the assignee email. So that means over here in Pabli Connect, the details of the ticket which I've just created is successfully captured. So that means now whenever a new ticket will be created in my Zendesk account, then automatically the ticket details will be captured in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the ticket details over here in Pabli Connect, now I want to add the ticket details as a backup in my Google Sheets. So here in this action window, I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application and the action event will be to add a new row. So now in order to establish a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. And the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet part. So this is the Google Sheet which I've created where I want to add the Zendesk ticket details. So here's the name of this Google Sheet that goes as Zendesk ticket details and it consists of six columns and only of one sheet. So here my objective is that whenever a new ticket will be created in my Zendesk account, then I want to add the details of that ticket in my Google Sheets. 
So here in Public Connect, I have selected my spreadsheet as then disk ticket details and it has automatically detected the sheet. So now moving to these fields. So here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received these details from Zendesk, so here in these fields, I'm going to map it. So mapping is an important process so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So here that means that whenever a new ticket will be created in my Zendesk account, then automatically those ticket details will be taken into consideration in these fields and the workflow will run smoothly. So here as I've mapped the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And you can see that I have received the response and this here is a positive response. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheets. So here in this Google Sheet, you can see that the Zendesk ticket details is successfully added over here in a new row. So here we have successfully set up webhook inside Zendesk. Now whenever a new ticket will be created in my Zendesk account, then automatically the ticket details will be sent to Pabli Connect and further on it will be added to my Google Sheets automatically. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.